Hi, this is Sean. This is a quick video tutorial on using event dispatchers. Now, typically I create blueprints that will talk to each other and they're really good for modular workflows where you're gonna reuse them. But every once in a while you have a sort of a single case event or something where you wanna to talk to the level blueprint. So let me show you how to do that. I put the event dispatcher in the area that I'm gonna call it from. So in this case, the first person character, I want to be able to hit a key. So maybe keyboard L. Anytime you hit the L key, we'll call our event dispatcher. And what we'll, we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this light off and I'm gonna make fire turn on inside this bush. And, cause I dropped a, um, an emitter in there. So let's do that. Um, we'll make an event dispatcher. We'll call this my dispatcher and we'll just drop it over here and we will call it you call it here and then you bind it in the level blueprint simple as that so in the level blueprint though the one thing that we do have to do is we have to talk to the the player character so we'll get the player character and then we'll cast to it cast to first person character. And what do we want to call? Well, we want to call the event dispatcher. So, um, and we want to bind um, a custom event in the uh, level blueprint to that. So it's the, we're going to say bind my dispatcher. There we are. And so we're going to pull this pin out to our custom event here, which will turn the light on and off. So we'll create a custom event. Custom, add custom event. Light, fire. And we will grab those items. So I got the point light and here's the particle emitter for the fire. So now we've got references to those. And then every time we hit the L key, we'll flip flop between turning them on and off. So we'll flip flop. And then for the point light, the point light started on. So we'll just toggle the visibility. And I'll just hit Control W. So it started on, so we'll knock it off. And then if you hit it again, we'll turn it back on. And I need to connect this over here. And we'll do the opposite for the fire. So toggle visibility. And it will, because it started off, we'll turn it on. And then if we hit the button again, we'll turn it off. So there we go. Let's try it out. Oh, got to connect these up. Can't forget that. That's the final, most important step. Okay. So um, it still says it's throwing an error, but it's really not. So let's hit play. We'll hit the L key. So it turns the light on. And escape. We'll recompile. You can just see that there's really no error being thrown. All right, awesome. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.